Hello, Alexers, and welcome back as we continue this Sunday Motivational mini-series where we break down concrete steps from going to poverty to wealth. If last week we took a detailed look at what it takes to force your way out of poverty, this week we pick up where we left off. Here's a secret that all truly wealthy people have mastered. Anyone can get rich. The hard part is figuring out how to never be poor again. You constantly see people get lucky, strike it big in what was supposed to be forever money, and five years later, they're struggling. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear step-by-step -step plan that is in large part the exact way everyone who's achieved their wealth has followed, and now so can you. With that said, here are 15 steps to never be poor again. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Step 1. Decide that you'll never be poor again. I know it's easy to brush this off as something trivial, but it isn't. Every time you have to make a decision, ask yourself, Will this make me poor or will it make me rich? And if there isn't a clear way that your decision will lead to an increase in income, then it's a liability. This is why this process is considered hard for some people. Financial success is basically choosing long term over the short term. I know it feels great when people notice you doing well, but do you know what feels even better? Not ever having to worry about money ever again. Once the decision is made and you start going toward this goal, it's just a matter of moving forward until you get it. Step 2. Break down your situation into what's making you money and what's costing you money. You got out of poverty and now you're doing way better than anyone expected you to do. In their eyes, you're a success and you think you can slow down. We said it last time and we'll say it again. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Yes, celebrate because you managed to put food on the table that previously didn't have any. Now it's time to make sure there will always be food when you need it. Once again, break every financial aspect of your life down, but split them into two. What costs me money and what makes me money. This is a good time to also add the money numbers next to it. In terms of what makes you money, this is where you add your job or your business. Write down how much you earn per month and an estimate to what you earn per year next to it. Add here any other revenue stream you have. Maybe you're getting some benefits, royalties, rent, or so on. Put them in this column. Once you're done with what's making you money, it's time to break down what's costing you. The house you live in goes here. If you're renting, it's obvious that's costing you money, but also if you simply live in it, you're paying for utilities, maintenance, etc. Figure out how much living in your home is costing you. Do the same for your car, your subscriptions. These include health and medical insurance, your hobbies, and more. The most important one to look out for is debt. How much debt do you have? Write it all down and then take a step back and look at the list. Your goal now is to bring those numbers on the left down and increase the numbers on the right. Pretty simple, huh? Well, let's see how we can make that happen. Step 3. Close down the money pits. On every list, there are a couple of things that are costing you way too much money, at least for the return you're getting. These are your immediate focus. Everything you do now is focused on ridding yourself of money pits, such as debt. Be careful not to create new ones in the process. There are two ways to have more money at the end of the month than you currently have. One is to increase your income and maintain your expenses as the same, resulting in you having more money left after expenses. And two, cutting your expenses. In order to never be poor again, you'll actually be required to do both. This is why you're only going to go after the money pits, those where you feel like your life would be better if you didn't have these recurring payments taking all the fun out of life. A common mistake people make is they believe cutting out a coffee or clipping coupons or showering less will make them rich because they're saving a bit of money. 
A penny saved isn't a penny earned, it's just a penny, and nobody gets wealthy saving pennies. Every time you close down a money pit, you are immediately richer because of it. Close down the money pits and don't bother yourself with the rest. Once you've got that done, it's time to make the switch. Step 4. Focus exclusively on increasing income. From this point on, all your efforts are about bringing in more money. Figure out who's got your money and figure out how you can get some of it. And repeat, fundamentally there are three ways to increase your income. 1. Volume. Increase the volume of work. This one got you out of poverty, but since you have only 24 hours in a day and can't use them all to work, nor should you by the way, this one will not make you rich long term. Repeat after me. As long as you are trading time for money, you will never be rich. 2. Specialization. This means you're able to provide the service or product you're currently selling for a higher price because the quality of the outcome is higher. This allows you to charge more money. It's a great step that gets long-term results. Repeat after me. The more you learn, the more you earn. 3. Horizontal. This is where you can attach other products or services to your current offering in order to maximize the amount of money you bring in from each customer. That's why every car wash is also selling you those car air fresheners. As long as you're disciplined and have your expenses under control, the threat of poverty is just a money problem. And you know what solves money problems? That's right, money. Sales solves everything. Sell more, charge more, and you're on the way up. Step 5. Incorporate When things are rolling, it's time to become a business. Don't fear the bureaucracy or the unknown elements of setting up an LLC or a corporation. These days, everything can be done online. You'll be up and running in no time. The biggest lie you've been told growing up was that people get rich by working high-paying jobs. No, that's never been the case. In order to be wealthy, you need to own things that increase in value over time, like a business, property, parts of other people's businesses, Bitcoin, so on. Incorporating allows you to do just that, to own a business. Businesses are treated differently than individuals. They have different rules in place that help them keep more and more money so they grow. The business is a different entity than you are and as we found out when we discussed business structures, businesses get rich quicker than individuals. Because you own the rich business, you're also rich. Almost all wealthy individuals out there don't have their fortunes and stacks of money lying around their home. They're not playing Instagram pretend games. Instead, they own businesses that are worth fortunes in and of themselves. If there's enough demand for it, at some point we'd like to do a course that walks you through step by step everything you need in order to incorporate a business in the US from anywhere in the world and even curate some services that will help you get everything done smoothly. But we'll wait and see. Step 6. Pay yourself first. Here's where things get counterintuitive for most. Poor people pay their bills first. Rich people pay themselves first. The thing about a poor person's process is they pay their bills and never get to paying themselves anything. You're not meant to just pay your bills until you die, right? This is where having a business really becomes valuable. With businesses being taxed differently, you can afford to pay yourself first and have additional capital. You become a deductible expense and the business takes care of the bills for you. This money should immediately go toward investments of any sort. We strongly recommend you automate the process so that money leaves your personal account automatically. Personally, it goes into our index funds and crypto investments. This is what they mean when you hear others say you have your wealth creation on autopilot. The thing is, you can never do this unless you pay yourself first. Bills will eat away at your money and you'll never have anything left in your account. Step 7. Acquire, create, or build your first asset that makes money while you sleep. If you've done everything on this list right, you should be positioned in such a way you can finally begin the asset building process. The easiest one is real estate. Uneducated people think real estate is expensive. 
Why? Because they always think about expensive homes or expensive buildings and just how much money they think they would need to buy it. In reality, you only need 20% of the money a house is worth to buy it. Once it's yours, you can immediately rent it out. If you're smart, you can clean it up and have the rental income go up. Once you find a good tenant, the house will start making you money every month. But real estate isn't the only cash flowing asset. Publishing a book does the same thing. When people buy it, a portion of the money goes to you. Stocks that pay dividends are the same, but to a smaller degree. An e-commerce store can take orders and bring in money for you while you sleep. If you go to alux.com slash sell before the day is over, you can have an e-commerce store up and running. Shopify was kind enough to support our channel and give the members of our community 14 days of pro tools for free. Everything you need to build a store is there and they made it easy for you to do it. Just go to alux.com slash sell. If you click in the top right corner, you'll find a list of assets that rich people use to grow their fortunes. Step 8. Use your work money to improve and solidify the income generating asset. By this point, you probably managed to have a steady flow of income from your work as well as your first cash flow generating asset. A common mistake people make is they try to diversify too early. Instead of putting all that money towards starting a third business, take a portion of your investment and see how much more value you can extract from your asset. If it's real estate, fix the roof or the windows, new paint, fix the garden. You know what to do to drive that rent up. For an e-commerce store, it's better design, better advertising, better content. Invest money in your cash flow generating asset to a point where it becomes a solid investment. Only then can you move on to something else. Do not spread yourself too thin. We've seen people screw up million dollar businesses because they got distracted by a new shiny opportunity and forgot to take care of the thing that was putting food on the table. Don't make the same mistake they did. Step 9. Save money by investing in easy to liquidate assets that also increase in value. You're here because you're looking to never be poor again, right? A crucial part of this process is learning to save money. Look, we know that saving is not exactly a sexy topic, but rich people do it differently. They don't think about this money as savings. You're not saving money for a rainy day. That's what poor people do. You need to do what rich people do. They build an opportunity fund. This is money they set aside for, you guessed it, opportunities. The distinction right here is why the rich keep getting richer and the poor poorer. Let's say a great opportunity presents itself. Opportunities don't care who you are, they just are. Poor people don't have this money set aside, so they can't make use of the opportunity. Because of this, their financial status remains the same. Rich people, on the other hand, have the opportunity fund ready to go. When the opportunity presents itself, they're ready to play ball. Repeat this process a couple of times and you will never be poor again. Don't think of the opportunity fund consisting of a Nike shoebox where you throw in every $5 bill you get. No, even that money is parked in stocks through easy to liquidate brokers like Robinhood, Revolut, eToro, and so on. Why? Because your money should always be making babies. Don't allow your money to sit stagnant. It'll get bored with you and go to someone else who knows how to keep it moving. Step 10. Make investing in yourself a priority. Every bit of progress you've made in life up to this point is because you learned to do something that had value, either from someone who's done it before in the traditional way or through trial and error. You're consuming this piece of content right now because you're taking the process of investing in yourself seriously. But this is not enough. We know plenty of people who all they do is read books and attend conferences, yet they're not making any real progress. In order to make progress, you need to invest in yourself. The word invest means you have to spend, usually one of three things, time, effort, and money. Most likely you'll have to invest all three. If you're looking to improve the quality of your work, you'll need better tools. These cost money and you'll be scared that they won't pay off. Once you buy them, you'll need to spend time and effort learning how to leverage them to be more productive. 
It's the same way with specialized knowledge. We're giving all of these fundamental principles away for free so you don't have to pay for them, and they will serve you well your entire life. But maybe the problem you're facing requires specialized knowledge, or you're simply looking to accelerate your process. That's when you trade money for know-how. That's when you buy the better tool. That's when you enroll in a course that gets you up and running. That's literally what we've been doing with our course platform. We built it so you can download a valuable skill into your system as quickly and effectively as possible. Mind Mastery Meditation will teach you how to get control of your mind, deal with stress, and come up with creative ideas that have value in 21 days. Bitcoin Essentials teaches you everything you need to know to get started with Bitcoin. And Goal Mastery, which is coming in the next couple of weeks, teaches you how to effectively plan your year and goals so you achieve them. Remember, your life is cheap because you think investing in yourself is expensive. Step 11. Your effort pays for assets and assets pay for your pleasure. Everything you earn outside of survival should go to assets. A common mistake that's keeping people poor is that even when they somehow manage to come into money, they consume it. They buy food, toys, clothes, TVs, or go on holidays when they shouldn't. There's a highly valuable lesson for you. Just because you have the money doesn't mean you can afford it. Take a moment and let that sink in until you actually understand it. You're playing the long game, right? Here's how the rich do it. Instead of drinking champagne now, even when it might be the last time you ever drink champagne, the rich drink water now until they can afford to drink champagne anytime they want. Every time you want to buy something for your pleasure, ask yourself, am I buying this with my time or are my assets paying for it? If your assets aren't making you enough money to cover the cost of your desire, you can't afford it and you should get back to work. The only exchange that makes sense in the long run is to trade your time for assets until you no longer have to. Step 12. Find opportunities that pay for themselves. Poor people don't know this, but there are plenty of opportunities that pay for themselves. We know someone whose first investment was a townhouse. He was looking for a place to rent and saw the entire building was about to be put up for sale. Because he had good credit, something we discussed last Sunday, he was able to go to the bank and secure a loan with a minimum down payment. He moved into the new building and rented out the other apartments. His tenants were paying the mortgage for the entire building and then some. He now has additional money, lives rent-free, and every month he's building equity in the building. But this point does not apply exclusively to real estate. If you buy a new camera and you can use it to shoot photos for clients, it's just a matter of time until the camera pays for itself. From that point forward, the camera generates additional income. Not to toot our own horn, but people who purchased the Bitcoin Essentials course last year have made a ton of money because of the information they got out of it. So the course paid for itself 1,000-fold. Always look for opportunities that pay for themselves. Step 13. Reinvest all your profits to accelerate wealth creation. At this point, you're already doing well. One of our personal secrets to growth has been consistently reinvesting our money into our businesses. If you're young, you don't need much. You don't have many dependencies relying on you, so you can afford the luxury of reinvesting everything to give you a shot at wealth. The more you reinvest, the quicker you'll reach that point of financial stability. What's even better in most countries, reinvested profit isn't taxed, which means if you reinvest the money in the business, you get the financial benefits of your profit in its entirety without the state taking anything away from you. That's why Amazon isn't paying any tax. All the money they're making gets reinvested or billed as an expense. As a corporation, you get taxed on what's left when you subtract expenses from revenue. If these two are equal, meaning all the money is spent, there isn't anything left to pay tax on. This is also why most expensive cars you see are not owned by individuals. Instead, these are leased by the company these individuals own. It's basically all money chess, so you best learn the rules and figure out how to play. Step 14. Do not improve your lifestyle in proportion to your earnings. This is the biggest reason why people who escaped poverty go back to it. 
fight the urge to play status games. Although you can afford it, there's no need to flex. We know your inner child is screaming to show those haters just how well you're doing and that you've proved them wrong. But a victory isn't final until the war is over, so don't screw this up. Continue to live below your means, considerably below your means, assuming you're now a person of means. Set rewards for yourself if you hit certain milestones. Even today, if something costs 5% of what we're earning, we still set a target to increase our income by at least 10% before we buy it. That way, even after we purchase it, things are still on the positive growth path for us. It's easy to sabotage yourself by improving your lifestyle. Don't fall into this trap. Play the long game. Play to win. Step 15. Repeat everything until your assets out-earn your spending three to one. It usually takes three years to go from poverty into the middle class if you're committed. It then takes seven years to go from mediocrity to financial freedom, where financial freedom means you could stop working tomorrow and you could live off the work you've done for the rest of your life. People always expect things to move quicker than this, but for us, seven years was a drop in the bucket. Don't be enamored by the illusion of get-rich-quick schemes or the fast-forward version of Hollywood Presents. Building wealth sustainably is a fairly boring process, at least in terms of the day-to-day. -day. You have one or two big events per year and the rest is just disciplined effort. Do the right things for long enough and you'll eventually get yours. The retirement you're looking for has nothing to do with age. It has to do with freedom from money problems. Think of the ideal family life. You own a house, two cars, go to a couple of holidays, your kid's education is taken care of, as well as your health and hobbies. What if your assets earned three times as much money as your ideal life costs per year? All that additional capital could go towards supporting the things you love, or even more assets to safeguard your children's future. Even if something critical happened where your expenses would double because of an unforeseen event, you would still have enough money to be able to weather the storm. And that is what freedom is. That's when you know you'll never be poor or broke again. It all makes sense when you look at the full list, but we're curious to hear from you. Which of these steps do you find most difficult? We really want to hear back from you in the comments so we know what to address in our next one. We also made a special playlist with videos that build up on top of one another, which is linked in the description and in the top comment. As for those of you still watching, we couldn't be more thankful. You've earned yourself a special golden nugget. Go where you're treated best. This bonus is going to be a bit different, but it touches well onto the topic at hand. Too many people settle for too less. They stay in relationships they know are not good for them, either in romantic relationships or business relationships. If someone treats you poorly, why stick around just because it's a familiar harm? This is something that took us a while to understand and implement. You are always free to move, so move where you're treated best. If someone treats you poorly, you don't bow your head and accept it. You get up and leave. Do this a couple of times and life begins to look better. If you don't like the job you have, change it. If you don't like the bank you work with, change it. If your family is toxic toward you, move away. There's nothing really keeping you tied to these toxic elements but your own choice of perpetual suffering. Because people will always pick a known suffering over the unknown. But why would suffering be part of your life in the first place? Hopes of change lock you into a cage of unhappiness until someone decides to open the door for you. The problem is you're the one locking yourself in, but not actually holding the key. We want you to take this opportunity right now and reflect on the things that you choose to tie yourself to, despite which way they were different. You'll be shocked by what comes up. If you've made it this far, if today's video provided you with the tiniest bit of value, please write change in the comments and also like this video. It tells us that we're doing our job right.